marketing company, and uh, we're here in Austin in my seventh year of business, and I founded the company. Um, we work with a lot of small to medium-sized businesses and help them create their identities and design their websites and paper collateral and advertisements and whatnot. Um, and that's me. So on to the presentation. Um, all of this search engine optimization, you, you guys must be you know, getting to be experts by now and knowing what all the acronyms stand for and all the search engine places you can go and market. Uh, but there's one thing I think that's pretty critical, and it's making sure that people connect to your website once they get there. That's just helping them convert. So once they get to your site, they have to know that they're at the right place. They found what they look for. They have to connect with your brand, with your identity, be able to find what they want to find easily on the website. Um, you can do search engine optimization until the cows come home, if you like. And uh, if you don't have good conversion rates once you get there, uh, it's kind of all for nothing. So the identity is at the core of your, uh, the design of your site and your brand. So I decided that putting on a workshop for how to create an identity would be a really useful workshop. Um, I'll tell you, since it's kind of a long session, how it's going to go. Uh, we're going to start off here in a few minutes with some activities. Don't be afraid by the scissors and paste out in front of you. We're going to actually use them and start exercising the right hand side of your brain, which on a lot of people gets a little bit rusty but we're going to flex that right side of the brain muscle and get creative here. Um, that's going to be to compromise your psychological profile. And then I'll go into a presentation and let you wonder what your psychological profile is for a couple of hours. <laughs> and then uh, after, we'll have a break around 2.20 and um, come back around 2.30. And after that, we're going to go through the creative brief process. And uh, this entire process is something that I've done with many clients over a number of years, and I found it to be extremely effective um, in extracting what's in your mind visually, um, what your tendencies are, what your likes and dislikes. If I asked you to describe what kind of a logo you might like, what kind of an identity might connect with your audience, you'd probably come up with something and say a few things, but. Probably it's not exactly what you really feel. That's what I found. And if any of you, who's hired graphic designers? Have you ever had a situation where you hired a graphic designer and you feel like, yeah, I, just, I told them exactly what I wanted. And you get all these options back and you're looking at all these designs and you're just like, why aren't they getting it? Does it sound familiar? Anyone? It's kind of frustrating. So what I found is that the absence of good creative direction oftentimes makes for a um, unsuccessful design project. So I'm going to teach you here how to be creative directors so that the next time you hire a graphic designer that isn't with an agency that doesn't have an experienced creative director, you'll get a little bit more success out of creating your identity, creating your design work. That can apply to your business identity as well as your, your website design and increasing those conversions as well. So, without further ado, you'll notice in front of you there is several items. There's a packet of logo designs, and these I've copied out of the Logo Lounge book, which you can find it and buy it on Amazon.com. I highly recommend it for these kinds of exercises. Um, and you'll find some scissors, some paste, and then a blank 11 by 17 sheet of paper. So, What I'd like for you to do is flip through this logo lounge book, take the scissors, don't be afraid, cut out the identities that you like. Doesn't matter if you pick three or twenty, but make yourself a nice little pile of identities that you like and glue them down onto the 11 by 17 sheets of paper. Does that sound like fun? And feel free to talk back at me because I'm like a very interpersonal person, so I'm kind of freaked out by being in front of you. <laughs> and ask questions whenever you like as well. I'm going to give you a few minutes to get oriented with the, uh, the paper and paste activity. Uh, what this is, is uh, we'll explain a little bit later, but we're going to hang on to your, your psychological profiles and those will come at the end. You missed it? Okay, so what you're going to do is uh, go 
through this little loop up here and cut out the logo that you like. And you paste them onto that sheet of paper right there. And you each have your own sheet of paper, so you each have your own psychological profile going on. Or you can just circle them and then cut them out later. This process is uh, something that a lot of designers go through. And in the meantime, I'll start going through my educational presentation. Your brand promise is how you intend to treat your customers, what kind of 